what's up party people and what's up mom welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Jen and I'm a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark and a couple other places I have a good little outlet haul for you today I went I actually wasn't gonna film this haul until tomorrow but I got my to-do list done so I'm here um I went and got 32 pounds of clothes at $1.49 per pound. I spent $47.68 at the Salt Lake City Goodwill outlet. Let's jump in. I did get one game. It's called the Game of Phones. <laughs> and I opened it. It says the Battle of Smartphone Skills. I don't know if all the cards are there, but it looks like uh, kind of like a Cards Against Humanity type thing. I need to take this. There we go. The tape off. We're ruining cards. Let's see. So it says something like find something useless to buy on Amazon. I was reading that backwards. That is talent. Take a picture of something dirty. Whoa. Create an emoji masterpiece. You know, you get it. So I bought it because it did rain a little bit. Um, we've been going camping every single weekend for like two months straight, probably at this point. And it rained a little bit, so I figured we can have this in the trailer because our adventuring is not over yet. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on to shoes. I always buy Birkenstocks. I always do, unless they're completely damaged. Um, these, oops. Birkenstocks. They are a size 37, which is a size 6. These are the regular fit. I don't remember which style this is, but these will sell for 25, just the way they are in this condition. And next up we have these. I wanted to do some research on these. Uh, they look cool. They are Adidas boost and they're a men's size 10 and they look cool so I got them uh, they have a Adidas thing there and they're in really good shape so are these Yeezys I thought that they might look like it but I don't know I've never done a Yeezy I'm gonna have to do some research I don't know, this is why I got them. If they're easy, then that is gonna be awesome. So if you're a sneakerhead, I am not, let me know, or I'll just do my own research. Okay, next, I got these. I don't generally pick this brand up, it's Clark's, but these are really cute leather booties, and booty season's coming up. These are a size nine. Here they are. That's them. I did get these as well. These are Fly London. They have an ankle strap. They're perforated leather. They're a size 39. They've got a peep toe. I have two Fly London shoes in my Poshmark closet now. These actually look like one of them. I think it doesn't have an ankle strap and it doesn't have like a... It's just a peep toe is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> the one that I have. I haven't sold any of them. So I don't really know. Maybe I'm pricing too high. I don't know. But there's those. Next, I see some purses. Uh, this one I got just based off of style. Uh, all it says is made in Italy on the zippers on both of them. Uh, it is leather, woven leather. And on the inside, it just, ooh, it looks like... N O and then the sticker is missing and then it ends with the M. I'm gonna have to do some research. Regardless, it's made in Italy. I didn't see that um that sticker there until now. But anyways, it's just a cute crossbody. I will take this off, do some research, and I couldn't leave it at the bins because it's really stinking cute. So I took it home. Okay, next purse. This one needs a little bit of lovin'. 
but it's a coach little backpack style which is cute and I can't decide if this feels like neoprene kind of I don't know but here's the coach I need to figure out I did buy a fake coach once and the people were eager to let me know that so I don't know if this is real or not um, it does have some obviously dirtiness on it so I will clean it up I'll probably just wash it to be honest with you if it's real if it's not real then I will just redonate it this brand is called woo hey -o, the sack and uh, it's not a brand that I knew a couple of months ago however I just started picking up purses at the Goodwill outlet and sending them to thread up and this one sells for 90 to 100 dollar range every time I've sent it in and so I got this one this one is a little bit dirty I do need to clean it up it has this black mark on the back but I think I can clean it up it's 100% leather it's a big purse and I'm excited that I have it next is this purse uh, Kenneth Cole reaction which is another good brand to send to thread up again another purse in really good condition black crossbody bag it's pretty much a staple and it has really cute little detail there so there's that one. Oh, and it has a little slit in the back very nice okay back to shoes these are fry fry boots <laughs> they are my size size nine they are called the Jillian Chucka nine medium so that's exciting I love finding fry at the bins and these ones are in really good condition they do obviously have some cracking I think the burnished toe is supposed to be like that um, but yeah next these ones are also Kenneth Cole Ugh. and these are knee-high boots these are a size seven and a half you can't see but there they are and they do have like the flexing up here for a little bit bigger of a calf zip on the inside in good condition so I grabbed them and the last bag in here I about choked when I saw it because I had gone through all of the shoe bins and uh, came back because there was way too many people in this bin came back and this is the only thing that I found in the bin yes it is distressed but yes it is a hobo purse what I've never found a hobo purse before. I've found hobo wallets. Uh, I don't know what purses go for, but I'm excited to look it up. It's this brown crossbody. It has, let me show you. Let me show you this front thing with credit cards, a little dingy here. And then it has a middle like thingy and then it has another thingy <laughs> this is gonna be hard to like explain but you got pencil holders another slip pocket so yeah I'm excited about this I think this is well this one in the fry boots or the ones that I was pretty excited about even though I just went I don't remember everything that I got this is I think the last thing I grabbed and it's J. Crew Classic. It's from Holiday 18. And it's just a button down shirt. That's it. Oh, I meant to grab a bin to put my stuff in. Conveniently, I have one right there. Okay. Next up, this is for Jeremy. He likes these shirts and so I'm gonna keep buying them for him. J. Crew garment dyed, just a pocket tee. He keeps ruining his from camping, so here's another one. I think it's like grease stain somehow, I don't know. Um, 
American Eagle soft and sexy tee. This one's an extra small. It's just a basic yellow striped top. And that'll go in my two for 20 closet. This I got for two for 20 as well. It's collective concept size large. It's this really cute floral print, three quarter length sleeve, and it does tie in the front right here. I thought that was cute and it wasn't a size extra small, so I grabbed it. This is a new to me brand, but I looked it up and sweaters are listed, I think for 60-ish. I don't know, Alan Payne, Kuntz Ryder, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, made in England and it's alpaca, lamb's wool. Oh, that's it, <laughs> alpaca and lamb's wool. And it's like a grandpa sweater. And it does have a snag on this back here. I'm going to probably just snip it off. But yeah, I know grandpa sweaters were really in last winter, so we'll see. This one I got just based off style. I think this brand is like Macy's or Nordstrom House brand, Crosby, size medium. I just liked the paisley, the boho style, so I grabbed that. This one, I don't generally do kids, but I did grab two kids items, is a Hannah Anderson like winter sweater. Really cute, looks brand new. So I grabbed that and the other kids item was this mini Bowden, two to three years old. This little green stripe zip up thing. I don't know if I'll list these. Um, I think I might just take them to like kid to kid, which is like a buy sell trade store, but for kids. Um, I did find some anthropology stuff all in one bin. Uh, this is Vanessa, Virginia, size US four. And this is just another three, four length sleeve. It's got embroidery up here. All this blue is embroidery. And then it's semi sheer, really pretty, two for 20. This one as well. This one is Meadow Rue, size extra small. And this one's a really pretty flowy sleeve floral with tassels and cute little accents here. I like that. This one is another Meadow Rue, extra small. And this is maroon lace type top. It's got a full lace front, super pretty. This one I need to wash. Looks like it fell on the ground. It's one September, size small. And it has this really pretty semi sheer sleeve. And it's kind of like just a swing top. You can see right here, it's dirty. I'll wash it. it smells good. <laughs> it's just dirty. This one is Daletta, size small. Just a floral top. Cute, cute. What is this? This is JGO Pont. Uh, I got it for the size. It's extra large. And uh, it's like this plaid print top. And then it has a V back with little buttons. I thought that was cute. This one is Carl Lang Langerfield, I think. I don't know, I got it because it was a size large and it's got these cute little bell type sleeves, world print. This I wanna try on. It's a Nike seamless size medium like crop, but I'm gonna use it as like a kind of like a crop. Oh, I don't know if it's gonna fit me. <laughs> Let's pray. But it's black and 
and I hope it fits me. This, I got a cute scarf because it was just cute. And it could be like a free purchase or free item that purchase type thing. I feel like I got another one, but maybe I threw it back. We'll see. Sorry about that. Had to take a quick break, but we're back and we're almost done. So, not really. <laughs> we're not almost done. Okay, next. Uh, these are Tommy Bahama. I bought it because they were new with tags and it says 125. I'm going to take this sticker off and keep them for spring and send them into thread up when I'm able to. This I got for Autumn, my daughter, and I hope she'll like it. If not, then I'll sell it. Uh, but it's just, what is that? Champion, size extra small. But look at how cute this is. The gray and the contrast and the navy. I liked it. So hopefully she will. I think that was an extra small. This is Ann Taylor Extra Small. This is 100% silk, pink button down top. Got it because it was silk and it feels really nice. This I'm assuming somebody threw back. There might be something wrong with it. I didn't care. I just threw it in. Okay, so I see it needs to be washed right here. But it is wool and cashmere and it's Vince, size small, this ombre cardigan blue to like a cream color. It's an oversized for sure. And I think what I'll do is I will just hand wash it and look, the pockets aren't even, they're still stitched shut. I'll just hand wash it and air dry and that's exciting. <laughs> Cashmere, it's so soft and wool and I didn't see any holes. But like I said, I didn't really look into it. I just threw it in. Okay, this probably has a stain on it, but I'm willing to take the chance. Sweet the free, extra small, white. What are these, Laguna Thermals or something? Armpits look fine. I don't know. Figured I'd grab that. I find those quite a lot. This one did have a stain that I'll just get out. We the free. This one's a size medium. A couple stains just on the front, but it's an open knit, like dolman sleeve. Oh, here's a stain on the arm too. It's fine. Well, it's just food. But cute oversized top. She just dropped food on herself. That's all. Ain't no thing. These I got for Kan, my boy, because he lives in comfy style. So these joggers I got for him. He'll love them and he'll wear them. This is Prana. I find this brand quite a bit at my bins. Prana. This is a size small and it's just one of those dresses and these sell for between 20 and 35 depending on the print. So easy pickup in my opinion. So this is a new to me brand, but it's linen and it's lagging looky. So I got it. It's Lungo Larno. <laughs> I know I said it correctly, so don't, you know. <laughs> Made in Italy, I think it said. Yeah. Um, Look at how lagging looky. So again, it's linen, it's gray. It's got pockets in the front. You can't tell why, because it's wrinkly. So wrinkly, but it's a tunic. And let me see, the inside says it's a one X. So that's exciting. 
100% linen, hand wash, made in Italy, blah, blah, blah. That's exciting. So, I don't know. I didn't, uh, I looked up comps. I didn't get too far into it though because I was like, it's linen and it's lagging look. So, I was just like, forget about it. I got these socks. Because my mom, ooh, they're by Cuddle Duds. Like, I know what that is. I think they're on QVC, something like that, HSN. These reminded me of my mother because when she went camping with us, she's like, oh, I need my fuzzy socks because she gets cold. <laughs> but these are fuzzy socks and they're super nice and Christmas is coming and who doesn't like a fuzzy sock, you know? couple more things. This again is a new to me brand. I about choked when I saw the comps. So this is Birds of Paradise by Trovada. This brand is sold at Revolve, Shopbop, Bloomingdale's, and uh, this is just a plaid button down shirt. But this brand new was like over a hundred dollars I bet. Don't like quote me on that because you know I'm I don't know for sure but I about choked so did I say what size it is medium it does have this pleating in the front it has cute brown buttons it does have a cute little cuff if you decide you want to flip it backwards and be like ooh, cute you know and it has this leather, I didn't even see this until now, leather strap on the back. So you know it's money. I was just thinking it was going to be a cute like anthro, you know, by the tag. Surprise! You know? Okay, oh, a couple more. I almost threw this back, but obviously I didn't. It's just Michael Kors, size small. Snake trim, red, just a shirt with a metal emblem on the back. Uh, Thread Up likes this brand, and I really hope that they open up soon. That is all. This is Soft and Sexy American Eagle, size medium, tie-dye top with the tie at the bottom. Ooh, tie-dye tie front top. Tie dye front, what? Tie dye, tie front top. Say that 10 times fast. I almost threw this back, but here we are. Um, I cannot sell this brand to save my life. It's Bella Doll, size medium. This brand retails for a lot. I can't sell it. Uh, Thread Up sold it for me though, but look, it's like this. Is it? I'm getting kind of confused because I thought it was. Yeah, it does go down, right? Maybe it's just wrinkly. I thought it was like an asymmetrical hem. It kind of looks like one. Anyways, and this is the last item. What is it? Oh, it's Current Elliot. These are a size 26 and they feel new, like they haven't been washed but they're like a slim, I wouldn't say skinny, but they have like a minor distressing, like you took a cheese grater to it, you know? Dark wash, high rise, jeans, and that's it. That's all that I got from the bins today for $47.68. If you like bins hauls, give this video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you like reseller content. Do not forget to stay weird. Bye guys.